Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Elliot. And this is CVCC Connect. Letting you know what's going on here at Cuyahoga Valley Career Center. Did you go to the big celebration over the weekend? No, what are you talking about? I was camping all weekend. I had no reception. CVCC celebrated 45 years of building careers this weekend with games and activities for all ages. The Brexville Robotic Club chased kids down the hallway. And guests enjoyed food trucks like Swenson's and a burger-themed truck called SWAT. Thanks for everyone who made it out. You know, Elliot, I've grown quite fond of you over the past year. Oh. I've grown quite fond of myself, too. Well, Jake Armstrong found students who've become great friends in their auto class. The young men in auto service technology were expecting to just learn about cars, but ended up finding something much more valuable. Auto service instructor Joe Lamatry says he feels a strong connection with his students. Kind of brotherly love in a sense. You know, you watch them, they, they start off, they don't know each other, they're from different schools, they have different beliefs, and next thing you know, they, they start to interact with each other, they start going out together, they start hanging out together. Auto service senior Jesse Woodle says his classmates are like family. We developed like a, uh, a really good brotherly bond and friendship, and I look at all these guys like they're my brothers and they're part of my family. Auto service senior Gabe Reese says this class means a lot to him. It's a lot more than just school. It's a lot more than just an auto shop. The people in here and my teacher were like brothers. He likes hands-on learning here at CVCC. When I'm at this class, I'm doing something I love. I'm getting my hands dirty. I'm always doing something with my hands. And I love the people around here. I love my teachers, I love my classmates. I love doing, I love working on cars and I love working with my hands. That's my passion. It's safe to say the brotherly bonds between these students will last long after graduation. Jake Armstrong, CVCC Connect. Do you know what CBI stands for? Care Bear Invasion? Uh, no, but Marianne Zizis knows what it means. CBI students enter into the program as freshmen and leave prepared for a great future. CBI stands for Career-Based Intervention, which is a class within the Career Academy at CVCC that helps at-risk students. Many students have gone through CBI. Mayan Koenig is one of many success stories to come out of the program. CBI instructor Mr. Nick Demas talks about Leanne's biggest challenge coming into CBI. What I learned over the two years of getting to know Leanne, um, she came out of her shell quite a bit, found out that she's very intelligent, very organized. The quiet shell she started off in the ninth grade, she kind of shed and made some friends here at Cuyahoga Valley. Found out to her to be one of my most trustworthy students most dependable students. Leanne is now a senior in Medical Administration Specialist Program. When she entered into CBI, she has some confidence problems. In the CBI, I wasn't as confident as my, in myself. I didn't really have any friends and I didn't talk to anybody much, but CBI made me more confident. I got to know everybody and it felt great. HBAC's senior Finn Sheehan was classmates of Leanne in CBI and says she's a real go-getter. Leanne isn't afraid to ask questions about anything. If she needed to know something, she would make sure she would know it and then she would work hard to achieve what she needed to. She is probably one of the few people I could go and just say anything I need that was on my mind. And that's really nice about her. Leanne is doing better than ever this year and is preparing for an internship at Cleveland Clinic. Marianne Zizis? CVCC Connect. There's a new addition here at the nursing school at CVCC. I got a chance to sit down and talk with two nursing school instructors to get some insight. Robots are taking over the nursing program here at CVCC. The nursing school just got a new robotic, lifelike nursing doll to help students better understand the human body. School of Nursing instructor Mrs. Loden can't wait to get her hands on the new nursing Annie doll. Well, I know that the mannequin that we have now is very limited as to what we can do with it. Um, for example, we can't um, insert an IV. This doll has new features that the old doll didn't. The new one, actually, it looks like the eyes will open, and I think when you flash a flashlight in, it will do the constriction and dilatation. CVCC students get a hands-on experience with the doll once it's finished. The students are very, very excited. Um, to have her joining our uh, learning experience here. Their um, experiences have been, for example, when they catheterized something, they had to create something that was similar to what that might be like, but it was nowhere near 
what a real human was like. So they're excited to try um, practicing on something that is so close to a human before they actually do it on a real human. Look forward to seeing the nursing Annie doll around school this November. Faith Wilson, CBCC Connect. Do you have a passion for the restoration of cars? One of our CBCC seniors does. Here's Kat with the story. Engineering technology senior James Kumler likes old cars. He bought a 1973 Hearst in May of this year. 25 different models of cars I was looking at on Craigslist actually and it just happened to appear and had a pretty good price and just was nearby so I looked at it and that's pretty much it. I just had a general interest in older cars in general and that fits the description of cars that I was looking for. Despite his love of cars, James chose engineering technology instead of auto service or auto body. I wanted to design new things rather than just repair previously invented things. His dad triggered his interest. He has his dad's uh, 77 Lincoln Town Car and we just keep it at home and that's probably why I like old cars so much is just you know seeing that ever since we lived in the house. So if you ever see James on the road in his hot rod, wave to him. Katerina Aziza, CBCC Connect. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. You know, you might be able to get one more diss in there if you want it. No, I'm good. All right. Well, we'll see you next time on CBCC Connect. Thanks for watching.